Okay, dear friends, I fix you well. Originally, I was trying to say something, and then just uh, I feel I have so much that I want to say, but when I need to say, I become so lazy. So just be lazy and uh, no rush, no rush, no pressure. something that uh, relax me and uh, rewind me. It is more important that we enjoy the moment of our life much more important then rush to finish something. Don't you think so? Don't you think so? I think so. I think it is important that That just do something that pleases us, not in a rush, not under pressure. Okay, make fix. The camera. Okay. Das ist gut. And uh, have fun in life. So I went to a meeting for two days, not with my students, not with my class. The, I miss my class, but on the other hand, I feel that it is so nourishing, this experience. Every day we are buried in our daily life, daily routine. We do not even have time for ourselves, for something that our body and our heart need. We need to give out, but on the other hand, we so, so, so need to take in to nurture ourselves, to learn new things, to improve ourselves. And uh, being a teacher, every day we give out 
a lot. Passively or voluntarily, whichever way, it's just the job itself sucks, absorbs, and requires a lot, a lot of our energy and it can come to a point that our cell, our body cannot generate enough energy, enough knowledge, enough resource to provide this demand to provide this outsource to provide this uh, outset then we need to give ourselves time to to feed ourselves, to feed, feed our heart, our soul, and our spirit. Otherwise, we will be all empty. We will be all dried out. So, the good thing of working in school, there is this endless opportunity, chance to go professional development, to take class, to attend seminar, to get some professional training, and. Uh, just very, very, very wonderful. <clears throat> and very, very important. So that we can keep a stream of energy, of resource. When we ourselves dried up, there is a still energy borrowed from the outside resource, learned so that we can serve our job, serve our life. Important, very, very important. <clears throat> I like this professional development workshops, just love it, and oftentimes. The teacher's workshop of those great speakers, and they usually came from educational background, and they know exactly what happens in school, in education, in classroom, and their advice is very, very helpful and just sit down, sit in there, watch those professionals and uh, seasoned teaching artists. I call them teacher or teaching artists. 
the educational artists, let's say it this way. You just these people, they do education for a living and they refine their trade. And it is just such a pleasure to see them in the classroom, to see them conducting a class, and to see their time management, classroom discipline, of course, for a teacher's training, they usually do not have a big issue of classroom training. Although sometimes we like to talk and we are carried away in our dialogue, and not easy to come back to the training. And at this time, to see those professional trainers, how they handle the situation is very inspiring. So, for example, <coughs> this time our trainer, when it is time that we, we sit down, be quiet, she tells us a story and uh, brings back our, <coughs> our attention, our quietness through a storytelling. And this is so effective. I remember in the classroom, I tell students, hey, quiet down, quiet down, class time. Now I count to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, counting, it does make a good result, especially in my class. We count in Chinese, <coughs> and we start to count e, r, s, s, that is very, very resultful. I have to admit, there's nothing to deny, to ignore the power of counting. <coughs> However, on the other hand, sometimes it is a very natural, very pleasant, and very enticing way to get the attention of student by telling a story. <coughs> okay, shall we have a try? So now the class bell run. Now we have to get back our classroom and sit down quiet so and everyone is uh, here and there talking so let me tell you a story how about that so when I was uh, in Australia we had um, <coughs> We, we were in a, in a school, and the school is, has a very active community. And um, every year there is a, a Christmas, Christmas fair or something. <coughs> so people bring their things to share, to sell, and then to to support my school, I decided to open my booth. What is my booth? That is this card. <coughs> I made this card. 
but how to make these cards? <clears throat> I need to take photo of my silk painting, number one, and I need to get these cards. So I went to shop, bought those cards, and I need to <clears throat> have cards. I need to have the cards folded and cut and folded and also I need to have this small silk piece, small silk piece print out. Oh, oh no, this one is too right. So I, I applied and to get a booze then I start all these things. <coughs> I went to the shop. In Australia, there is a Walmart. There is a office, office works instead of office depot. Office works. There is um, office works. There is um, <coughs> Kmart. I went to all these shops and finally found the right paper and I went to office work, bought this big glue and um, to get the cut, to cut the paper to the right size, I need a paper cut, right? But we were living in Australia only temporarily. So what's the point to buy a paper cutter if I use it not as frequent as needed? So I found that in the library they have such service. You can cut your paper in the library. So I went to the library to cut it. So at the end of the day, how much do I sell? Not much. Do I make an even business? Yes, kind of. I'm not losing money. The good thing of it is that it's not a losing business. I'm not paying to make this production. But I'm almost not making any money. <coughs> However, the good thing is that I learned where to find this card stock. I learned what size to cut. I learned to take photograph of my silk painting and then arrange it into a small page and uh, <coughs> cut it out. And uh, also I learned <coughs> to run the business. To go outside you need this and that, you need courage, you need confidence, you need good people skill. So at the end of the day, how much money do I get make? Not much. But how much experience do I get gain? I gain a million dollar experience. It's not that I will make a million dollar by selling these cars, but this experience has provided such a richness of life, such a complete process of doing something that is beyond any amount of money can offer us. Life is a learning experience. It's a journey of trying to live a richer life, a rich life, a richer life. And it does have relation with money, but it is so much beyond just what money can offer us. So, I was 
having fun and I like it so all this is just to chat with you do not think the money is small and ignore these things because the money is small the meaning of doing things and these small things brings so much, so deeper, so profound meaning in our life that it will re enrich our whole life. Okay? Are we quiet now after listening to this story? I'm pretty sure by telling some story. Well, I am intentionally making this story long because I want you to fall asleep. <laughs> but in the class, I will make my story. One minute, two minutes, something like it. And uh, I think that's a very, 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 very powerful method. Ness. Voila. this video the story of making story sounds like a deal <coughs> I am just so happy and I feel so blessed that I can have this wonderful opportunity to attend a seminar, a training, and to learn from great souls. It is just, just beyond. Just feel very, very empowered and enriched and uh, it's like get some energy zing 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 suddenly get some zing it's a very 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 interesting experience Do, 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 do. I think I need some new glue. Next time I will make a story of the glue. <coughs> make a story of other things. Make a story. Many, 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 many things. It is just very, very relaxing to sit down and uh, oh, 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 oh. sit down and uh, do something. Not stressed, not stressed out, and uh, relaxed, enjoyed, and uh, the kapsa is a very 
good experience. <clears throat>